Hey everybody, Emma here. Welcome to the Superbook Show. We are continuing to get so many emails from so many fans all over the world. And today we're gonna answer a question from one of our fans, Allison White. She asks, what are your favorite Bible verses? Well, Allison, we would be happy to answer that. Take it away, Superbook Show hosts. My favorite Bible verse is Psalm 27, 1. The Lord is my light and my strength. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Now, I don't have a single ultimate favorite Bible verse, but this one has been sticking with me lately. I am particularly fond of its poetic nature, and it's the perfect reminder to keep in the front of my mind that I have a God who loves me and cares about me, and that I have nothing to fear. Psalm 685, a father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. I love that verse because for me, I feel like it's hard to see both sides of God, that he is this super amazing, all-powerful, all-sovereign creator of the universe. But he's also this loving father who takes care of individual needs. So that verse was really comforting to me because it shows that God is both. Hi, I'm Molly Dean, and my favorite Bible verse is Proverbs 3, 5, 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. This is my favorite Bible verse because whenever I'm faced with a tough decision, I know all I have to do is trust in the Lord and pray to Him, and He will lead me down the right path. My favorite Bible verse is Hosea 2.14, which says, Therefore, behold, I will allure her, and bring her into the wilderness, and speak tenderly to her. I love that verse because it just shows the love of God, the tenderness, the gentleness, and how much He wants an intimate relationship with us. My favorite Bible verse comes from 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58. It reads, Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. I really like this verse because it applies to me basically all the time because I'm always doing work. Let's take school, for example. In school, you're constantly doing work. Some days they even give you three to four hours. To me, a lot of this work seems like mundane or it has no purpose, but I know that's incorrect because this Bible verse says your labor is not in vain, which means there's some greater purpose behind it all. For example, it could be teaching me to do better. It could be teaching me to be patient. It could be teaching me to learn things new. But I know that everything has a purpose behind it. And that's why I really love this verse. Hey guys. So one of my favorite Bible verses is Proverbs 19.21, which states, Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Um, and besides the fact that it rhymes, I just love that verse because it reminds me that God's will will be done. And even if things don't necessarily go my way, He has a bigger purpose and a bigger plan for my life. So don't worry about it too much. Thanks so much for your question, Allison. What's your favorite Bible verse and why? Email us at superbookshow at cbn.org. Don't know your favorite Bible verse yet? Download the Superbook Bible app and you can read the whole Bible for free and find out which one's special to you. Bye guys. <laughs>